have made it to Delaware and our very first stop was Bethany Beach uh, where we stayed last night and then we drove a little further north and now we are at Broadkill Beach and we're basically just beach hopping at this point but right now we have dinner on the stove got some potatoes over here some onions we have a sausage and then we have some leftover chicken so we're just gonna throw everything together and make a meal out of it Good morning. Today is road trip day. Claire and I just woke up. We had breakfast and we are about to leave to head to Dover. Then we're going to go to Wilmington and then we're going to head all the way down to Cape May. And that's kind of our plan for the day. So we will be leaving Delaware and we will be heading into New Jersey. Oh, hey. So we are at the Delaware Highway Memorial Garden and it's a garden located at this rest area for remembering the lives of bicyclists and people that died from either texting and driving or just died in car accidents while on the ro roadways here in Delaware. Um, but it's actually a really amazing idea. I really like that they put it here with the rest area for people to experience. You guys want to do some bike tricks? Yeah! Our new friends. Now standing in Delaware. In the distance you can see Philadelphia. See Philly right over there. And then that's New Jersey. One, two, three! Whoa! Nice! That's awesome. That was a big one I did. That was huge. Now you're filming. So it's taking a video. Oh, you want to <laughs> say something? Uh, I'm here with, what was your name again? Nasir. Nasir and Bryson. And Nasir has taken over the camera. And we are just visiting Delaware. This is actually our first day in Delaware. Is there anything cool we should go see? Film Claire, film Claire. Geographer here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Doing a good job. Mason, say something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at Fox Point Park. Kind of cool park. We just made some friends, and now we are going to <clears throat> keep driving. We're going past Wilmington, and now we're heading towards Cape May. We've made it to Cape May, and we are parked up by the beach. We're gonna go check out sunset and then make dinner. So we made it to Cape May, but we are at Sunset Beach. And what's cool about Sunset Beach is normally on the East Coast, you can't watch the sunset because it's the sun sets in the West. Um, but the way that this little cape is, you can actually look West and you can't see all the way across, but you would be able to see back at Delaware where we were, where we were earlier today. Um, so it's just a nice way to end the day, looking off back towards where we were and yeah. I'm just writing a post about it on my Instagram, but we, so just yesterday, we were attacked by flies and we were under pounding heat and there are jellyfish all over the beach and the water was gross. And then tonight we are looking at the most gorgeous sunset and it just kind of shows you like how unpredictable van life is and how all the negatives can be, I don't know, just overpowered by such a simple positive thing and it makes it all worth it. And I'm just so happy right now. Yeah, because yesterday I was like, if I get another bug bite, I'm like, I don't think I can do it anymore. And it's just like, I don't know. You just really think about the people out there who are surrounded by bugs and insects and it's not a choice, you know, that's just their life. And being put in that situation, it's, you just feel so grateful for everything that we do have. And yeah, and like just tonight, it's just a 180 from what happened yesterday. And now we see this.
Alright, I'm going to attempt to do a cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? It's not bad. Was my first one better? Try again. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? It's not bad. I don't know what. So after getting swarmed by tons of bugs yesterday and having over like a hundred bug bites all over our bodies, and I will say it's probably like the number one of the downsides of our current van life, we decided to splurge on this citronella candle and I really like it because it's almost like a fireplace in the in the van because it's so small and it works well with our van which is also small so it really flickers throughout the whole place and I love it and it's keeping the mosquitoes away Claire just made incredible pasta how'd you make the pasta I didn't make the pasta it was just penne pasta that I boiled up and then for the sauce I had um, cumin, Italian seasoning, smoked paprika, dill weed, <laughs> and the sauce. the sauce, and garlic powder. And then we added a zucchini. So since the afternoon was a little bit on the hotter side, we decided to just set up in our van and watch some movies using the Wi-Fi from the, I guess, visitor center of the lighthouse. And now we are gonna head up to Philadelphia. We made it to Philadelphia. Claire is now cooking macaroni and cheese and chicken and mourning the loss of her beloved family pet, Chester. Chester the chinchilla. Claire, do you wanna talk about it at all? Night is a very, very, very sad night for the Chang family. We lost a crucial member of our family, Chester, the chinchilla. Um, we had him for five years, and he was basically my mom's sweet baby boy, but he has made his way to animal heaven, and we will share a few seconds of his life with you guys uh, in honor of his wonderful, his wonderful life. <laughs> So that was a little memorial for Chester. Um, but earlier today, Claire and I had to stop and get some gas. And so I stopped to get some gas like normal, went to the pump, and then someone started yelling at me saying like, you're in New Jersey, you're in New Jersey. And I was like, yes, thank you, I know that. And then apparently they came over and they were like, no, I gotta pump your gas for you. And so it turns out that New Jersey is the only state that pumps gas for you. Um, so then I like awkwardly was like, oh, okay, here's my card and handed it to them and then they asked for the zip code and it was just, to me it was a very awkward experience because I didn't realize that at all and I think you're supposed to tip and we didn't have any cash ready and it was just like, uh, okay, whatever. Anyways, so we just left and got gas, but New Jersey, good to, good to know and if you're ever going to New Jersey, now you know. So in case you're wondering where we are parking, we are in the... Philadelphia parking lot. They have like free citywide municipal parking areas. So this is us for the night. Kind of sticking out a little bit, but it's fine. Alright, we are going out for the day in Philadelphia. 
Philadelphia, our friend Jeff, who is also a very talented wedding photographer, gave us a very long list of things to do that are also like socially distanced for Philadelphia. And so we're gonna go do all of them. It's not a game, it's a red skin. So apparently Pennsylvania and perhaps Philadelphia um, is known for pretzels and so we went to Miller's Twist which apparently has some pretty good ones and we got it from Reading Terminal and we are going to try it out. We just got the regular. This pretzel feels like it has real nutrients in it and when you get like the commercial pretzels they just feel kind of fake even though I mean, they're obviously real food but like this stuff is legit. Nice and crispy, firm. It's a firm, chewy, delicious pretzel. And very, very buttery with just a sprinkle of salt to top it off, like the perfect amount of saltiness. So we are at the Liberty Bell, and we're also at Independence Hall where they signed the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. It's right over there. That's Betsy Ross's house, and she sewed the American flag. All right, we are in El Fretz Alley, and it is the oldest residential alley to still be a residential area, or a residential street. Um, it was an alley that divided two people's property, and they noticed that people needed to be able to move easier, so they added the street in this alleyway. And it's from the 1700s. Claire and I have been walking all over Philadelphia today and we made it to this park that overlooks the water in this bridge. So I got to fly the drone. Now we're gonna walk back to the van. Now we're gonna walk back to the van and go get a cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak time! So out of all the Philly cheesesteak places in Philadelphia, we decided to go with Jim South Street, which has been around since the 1930s. And they had amazing customer service um, and they're so efficient in the way that they're making these. And we got to watch them make both of our sandwiches and we're very excited to eat them. Um, but yeah, I got mm. mine with provolone and then he got his with American cheese. So we're gonna try two different ones and then I got pickles on mine as well. And we just got poured on. Talk about that. Oh, yes. And we also just got poured on. Like, all of a sudden, we came out of the store. There were like a few drops, it was drizzling, and then it just started downpouring. And so now we are both soaking wet. Um, but we have good food in front of us, and we're going to enjoy it. After carrying them in the rain, this is what they look like. And I don't have shirts, a shirt on, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nope. 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 
We are at John's Water Ice. I'm about to go get pineapple water ice. Do they take... And they take cash. Do they have tags? <laughs> I don't know. We got pineapple water ice. Anyways, uh, they have the 90s cup and it's kind of cool looking. It looks like mashed potatoes. Wow. Mm. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down before Chad. It was really it. good. Not sure if you can. Oh, hopefully, you can see clear eating. Mm. <laughs> Chad was all like, "Let's get cherry," and I was like, "No, we should get pineapple." And pineapple was the move. This is so good. Yeah. After what, almost 70 years, I think they perfected their recipe. <laughs> All right, we have officially pulled into the Kruger driveway, and we have <laughs> Ben Kruger. Hello, the one and I feel only. honored to be uh, in your presence. Um, this is uh, a dream come true to be <laughs> on the Claire and Chad uh, journey. Um, and uh, we were just, roommates in Hong Kong. Yes, yeah, we were. We were amazing. Hong Kong roommates. And he just gave uh, us a gift, and we're about to open it. Oh yes, we're we're doing a gift opening. Yeah. Yeah, oh seriously. my gosh, this is so crisp. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. It's Dang, ice. this is such a good print. <laughs> we say that you've been to Ben Kruger's bar mitzvah. Oh my gosh, um, this is so and they're exciting. Like, they're, these were custom made. Um, the really? whole theme was was Apple, yeah. iBen. Yeah. And that was my first company, oh, sure. uh, iBen. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then Did front you design of it, this? So, no, so we had our, our good friend design them. Okay, um, okay. And uh, so they're, and then the front of it, uh, so, you, so you get a picture of, of young Ben as the tag. Yes. Oh, that is too and, good. <laughs> and then the, oh, and then you have the. the